Friends, let me teach you another interesting concept called the concept of calendars. So, calendar concept is basically based on divisibility by seven. Why? Because after every seven days, the same day repeats again. Example, today let's say is what? 10th of March. I am just hypothetically giving you an example. Today is 10th March and today is Sunday. So, after exactly 7 days, that is 17th March, will again be Sunday. You wish or you don't wish, it doesn't matter. Again 7 days, keep on adding 24th March is again Sunday, 31st March is Sunday, and so on and so forth. So, if we know for sure that after exact 7 days, the same day repeats again, we can actually predict the entire year, 10 years, 100 years, or whatever. So that's what I am going to teach you today. What are the rules for predicting which day will come on whichever day. So let's start with the entire year first. I would like to know if 1st of January is Sunday. What will be the day on 1st of January the next year? So for that, first of all, how many years are there? How many, I'm sorry, how many days are there in the year? So there are, assume there are 365 days, we are talking of the normal year to begin with. So if there are 365 days, if I divide by 7, let's say I am writing here 365 upon 7. Exact 52 is the question and remainder is 1. So that's why we say 52 weeks and 1 is remainder, 52 into 7 is 364. So in other words, if 1st of January is Sunday, after it's a cycle of 7, 7, 7, 7 days, 364th day will come as Saturday. 365th day, which is the remainder, will again come as Sunday. So 1st of January is Sunday, that means the 31st December will again be a Sunday. And therefore, my dear friends, 1st January next year will become Monday. So this is my rule 1. In every one year, what happens? So make a table like this, plus one. This is L, normal year, this is L, leap year. So in every one year, on the same date, exact one day is increasing. So if 1st of January is Sunday, next year, the 1st of January will be Monday. I am assuming normal year to begin with. Okay, what is L now? L is nothing but leap year. So what is leap year? Leap years are years which are divisible by 4. Let's, let's begin that way. So in, in every 4 years what happens? There is one extra day which comes in the year. In that day is of 366 days. And the extra day is added on 29th of February. In general years there are 28 days in February. In the leap year there are 29 days. So if I am crossing a leap year, the rule is in every one year, two days increase. And what is the characteristic of how to find whether a leap year is there? It should be divisible by 4. So in other words, the year which we are currently running, 2013, it is not a leap year. The next year, 2014, will also not be a leap year. 2016 will be a leap year because it is divisible by 4. So in 2016, for sure, there will be 29 days in February. So if we are crossing a leap year, so let's say if I ask you a question, 1st of January 2011 is Sunday. So what is 1st of January 2012? The answer is Monday. Why? Because we are crossing exact one year plus one, normal. But if I ask you a question, what will be 2013? Given 1st January 2012 is Sunday, what is 1st January 2013? The answer this time, my dear friends, is Tuesday because 29th February 2012 might must have come in our path. So we are crossing a leap year, the leap year, the rule is plus 2. So Sunday plus 2 will give, give you Tuesday. Okay, let me ask you a tricky question. If 1st March 2012 is a Sunday, can anyone tell me what is 1st of March 2013? 
the most obvious answer which students give is Tuesday again. They say that we are crossing the major part of 2012. My dear friend, it is not about majority or minority. It is about whether 29 February is coming in your path or not. We are starting from 1st March. 29 February is not coming in our way. So it is just plus one. The answer is Monday for sure. Please understand. Okay, so I think I am pretty clear in explanation of the first rule which is in every one year it is plus one or plus two. If leap year is coming, 29 February is coming in our path, it is plus two. Okay, let's see second rule. What happens in every four years? Come on. Since we have said that in every four years, one leap year definitely comes. So in every four years, there are three normal years and one leap year. So because of three normal year, one, 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 three and one leap year, two, so the rule should be plus five. Are you guys with me? One, 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 three times and one of leap year plus two, three plus two is five. That should be the rule for every four years. But you know what? You will be surprised to know that this is the actual, actual surprise of calendar. There might be plus 4 as well. There might be plus 4 as well means what? Means that there might be a scenario that I am crossing 4 years and I am not getting a leap year. It might come to as a biggest shock of your life so far. But it's the truth. So let me now open the cards. Century years are special years my dear friends. Century years are leap years only when they are divisible by 400. This is the rule which very 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 few people are aware of. And why so? Because we are born in the 2000 century which was a leap year because 2000 is divisible by 400. So we never saw that, uh, we never came that uh, scenario or encountered that scenario and therefore we always assume that we will always get leap year in every 4 years which is half truth. In fact, 1896 was a leap year. The next leap year should have been 1900, which unfortunately was not. And the next leap year was 1904. So between 1896 leap year and the next leap year 1904, there were exactly eight years. The leap year did not come. So if we are crossing those four years, then the rule is plus four. So don't get this happened, don't lose hope or something. This is only with near century. If you are between century anywhere, don't worry. There will be leap year every four years, every four years the rule is plus five. But if you are very close to century, please understand, then you must have a lookout for which century is it. 1700 was not a leap year. 1800 was not a leap year. 1900 was not a leap year. But 2000, as you all know, was definitely a leap year. Okay, now one question which might come to your uh, mind right now is why is this happening, what is the logic? See the logic is very very, uh, the scientists have proven that when Earth revolves around the sun and it takes so many seconds extra or whatever, so you can check Google Wikipedia for that. It's a very technical issue, who, who has seen Earth rotating where and all, but just forget it. What we should concern is that this is what it is, as far as all MB entrance exam is concerned. Okay, I think I have made myself pretty clear. Let's look at third rule. What happens in every 100 years? Exact 100 years. So, for example, you might come across a question. If 1st of Jan 1715 is a Sunday, what is 1st of Jan 1815? Something like this. So, questions like this can easily be answered if you remember these rules. Okay, now 100 years. So what you do is take both cases. When the century is a normal century and when the century is a leap century. Let's take both cases. And obviously in leap you can just add one. So if I am taking a normal case, uh, let me write here, 100 year can be divided into 76 normal year and 24 leap year. So in 76 normal year, it is plus 76. Each normal year will add to one day. And these will be plus 48 because each leap year, each leap year will add to two days. So my dear friends, the net is what? Plus 124 days extra. So if I divide by 7 because there is a cycle of 7, the answer I am getting is what? Uh, 17, 7, 119. So the remainder is 5 days. So this is the rule in every 100 years. In normal it is plus 5 and in leap it is definitely plus 6. 
So coming back to this question, if 1st of Jan 1715 is Sunday, what is 1st Jan 1815? Exact 100 years, I need to apply one of these rules. Just check fast which century I am crossing in my path. The century which is coming is 1800. Was 1800 a leap year? No, it was a normal year. So the rule is plus 5 and therefore my dear friends, the answer is Friday. So this is how it's, you know, if you, if you remember these rules, you can probably directly solve such questions. Okay, let me very fast teach you last rule as well. What happens in every 400 years? Now let me tell you, there is no extra baggage, you know, or there is no extra trick, let me put it that way. In every 400 years, for sure, you will get three normal centuries of 100 years and exactly one century of the leap year. So you will have three times of plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five, and exact one of plus six. This this might be in any order, but this is for sure going to happen. So plus five, plus five, plus five is what? Plus fifteen, and plus six is plus twenty-one. So plus twenty-one means what? Plus twenty-one means that zero days, because twenty-one is a multiple of seven. So in other words, in every four hundred years, the calendar for sure repeats for sure exact 400 years so you will say you will you will uh, might you might think where it is applicable i'll tell you there was cat 2002 word by word question let me write here first of jan 0001 is monday the question was what is first of jan 2002 so here if you do not know these rules my dear friend, you might take very very long time in probably der der deriving the entire calendar. Now if you remember the rule, in every 400 years it is same. So if you apply from here to let's say 2001, exact 2000 years, the date remains same. Because all multiple of 400 will keep on repeating. So the question boils down to if 1st of Jan 2001 is a Monday instead of 0001, it is exactly same as 2001. So now the question is exact one year. So exact one year rule is plus one or plus two. So again check fast which year you are crossing. 2001 I am crossing which is a normal year. And therefore the answer is Tuesday. You can solve calendar questions very very fast. Okay friends, this is one uh, this is one part of calendar which is across years. The, the, I am loving everything. The second part of calendar which is not frequently asked though are questions in that same year they change the day you know like there, there was a question once if 26 January 1950 was Sunday what will be 15th of August 1950 so how to solve it you, it's a very simple thing you need to count the days of months in that year and keep on adding them divide by 7 find the remainder so try to apply remainder rule which we we'll probably discussed earlier Instead of adding them, find the remainders first of each number and then add the remainders. You will probably get the answer faster. But that is not uh, very difficult or very uh, not very frequently asked. This I think you must learn and apply. Thank you friends.